Hey, Secondary Student Musicians. This is a, re, a quarter one review of all concepts that we have looked at from like week one all the way up to the current week now, eight or nine. So I wanted to take some time out and look over some things with you. One of the things I wanted to kind of talk to you about was some of the stuff that we learned during our first week. And uh, that is um, some simple uh, fun rules. And I know you have them at your house and we have them here at school too. And I think sometimes it's interesting and, I, and I, you're going to think this is completely weird when I say this, but a lot of times people think rules like kind of close you in, you know, and, and keep you from getting to do stuff. But when you really think about it, rules, if they're followed correctly, end up not like keeping you just kind of closed in and everything, but it actually opens up your world and, and frees you to be able to do lots of fun stuff. So one of the things in our school is we have this thing called today is a bright new day. And I think that's really cool. And I love it every time I hear it. And so I wanted to share that with you and you may have heard that before, but then again, maybe you've never heard it before. And one of the things that I tell my students, you know, one of the things that makes my day a bright day is when I follow a very simple rule that I've been teaching my kindergartners, first graders, second graders, third graders, fourth graders for years and years and years and years for as long as I can remember. Um, so the, the rule is very simple. If you want to have a bright new day and make today a bright new day, one of the rules that I have, Mr. Osborne's one and only rule is... Do what you should do. See the smiley face, the sun? Yeah. Anyway, now, if you do what you should do, Mr. Quaver has kind of broken down my one rule into some really, you know, fast, five, five fast fun things. Like, for instance, be safe. Yeah. Think about that for a second. Be safe. If you are doing what you should do, will you be safe? Of course you will. What about being polite? Be polite. When mom and dad said, hey, I need you to do something. I want you to listen to me for just a minute. And if you keep talking, are you being polite? Not really. But if they say, hey, I need you to listen to me. Look at me real quick. Listen. And you look right at them and you listen. Do you know how cool that is? Do you know how good that feels when an adult says that or a parent says that to a child and the child actually follows it and just does it? Wow. It's like. Okay, this is this is neat. This is cool. And hey, listen, in case you haven't figured it out, when you do that for mom and dad, uh, chances are like really good that the next time you say, hey, mom and dad, can I talk to you about something? They're going to be like looking right at you and listening. You know what I'm saying? So to get people to be polite to you, you got to give that politeness. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys are really paying attention to that because I think it's really super important. And I think it's true. And if you if you know well enough, I mean, if you've been around for a while, and you you know what I'm saying is right on target. If you show politeness to people, you get that politeness back. Nine times out of ten. In fact, I'd say ten times out of ten. If you give politeness to people, you'll get that politeness back in return. It, it never fails. So if you don't believe me, just... Try it out. See if I'm right or wrong. Okay. That's one way you can find out if I'm right. Um, now. Be cooperative. When you think about being cooperative. Okay. Like think about a team, a baseball team or a football team or a basketball team or a soccer. You know, when you cooperate with the other players, do you win the game or do you lose the game? <laughs> okay. Sometimes you're going to be like, well, sometimes we lose the game. But. A lot of times, and you're gonna, and you know, I'm right because you you guys have been there when you cooperate. And I mean, really cooperate, really work together like a team. And that's basically what cooperative means. You work together like a team. If you do that with each other, hey, win or lose, you still win. You know, when you think about it, you you win no matter what happens, no matter what happens in the game, no matter what the score says, five to three or ten to one or you know. 50 to zero. <laughs> Razorbacks have seen some scores like that, haven't they? Anyway, uh, if you cooperate, 
win or lose, you do win. Your team wins. Uh, the people you work with win. Your coach wins. You win. Your your families win. It's just one of those things. So be cooperative. When mom and dad say, hey, I really need you to wash the dishes, or hey, can you put the laundry in the, the laundry basket, or can you just clean up your room, can, you know, make sure I can actually walk in your room without, you know, stepping on a landmine in your room somewhere banana peels and weird stuff like that yeah don't do that okay uh so keep your room clean you know when they ask for it when they ask you to take out the trash man be ready to do that they're like hey can you pick up these sticks and stuff like that in the backyard i'm trying to clean it up and make it look nice you know help me rake these leaves hey when you rake leaves you always have fun you know that because eventually you get to jump in that pile of leaves right that's how it was at my house anyway my boys and girls and the way it was with me when i was a kid too I would rake those leaves up and then, like, okay, it's time to jump in. So that's always fun. So if you're cooperative, things work out really great. Now, this one. Be responsible. When you, when your mom and dad said, hey, I, I need you to, to take care of this for me. I need you to be responsible. I need you to take out the trash or I need you to clean up your room or do those kind of things. And also, like, they might say, like, hey, I need you to hang on to your little brother or sister for a second. I got to, you know put the key in the door so we can get inside the house or whatever, or uh, there's so many different things that, you know, you do that, you know, makes you a responsible person, you know, and whatever your parents are asking you to do and, and you do that, you know, that, that shows that you are responsible and that's a really cool thing. So think about those things and be ready to do those. And then finally, the last rule down here, be you know, and you got quite, we're doing this hard thing and he, does a better job of that than I do, but there you go. I think I got a pretty good one there. When you think about all these rules, when you think about my one, do what you should do, or you think about, you know, Mr. Quaver's be safe or be flight, be cooperative, be responsible, be kind. When you think about it, every one of those rules, including my simple one, do what you should do, it really goes back to being kind to your friends, your neighbors, whoever. Okay. So think about that. And, um, you might think, okay, what's it got to do with music? Oh, my goodness, guys, think about it. It has everything to do with music. Being safe with the way you dance and move around the room, being safe with the way you play musical instruments, being safe with the way you stand when you sing, uh, you know, being polite when musicians, you're working together with other musicians, being cooperative, singing and playing together as a team. Think about bands, think about orchestras, think about choirs, how – you know, if, if you're not cooperative, you're not going to make very good music, are you? Being responsible. You know, if you've got a part in your choir and you're expected to sing, you know, they're going to be expecting you to do that. And again, all of those things that we're showing you over there, you know, and if, you know the bottom line is be kind. If you're doing it to be kind to people, you know, that's a great thing. Okay. We're going to talk more about quarter one review and I'll see you in a few seconds.